So guys, today a Bafna video on the channel today. We have the new Castle United vs Liverpool preview. An interesting game coming on to Saturday 12.30. It's going to be a really interesting game. A lot of speak about with Liverpool. The, the Liverpool are the more talking of point of the, of the game. Obviously they've got a lot of games coming up. Still challenging for Champions League and titles and, and all sorts. It's an interesting season for Liverpool. But the mags are on form. The mags are on fire. The Brazilian Kings are doing bits. But it'll be an interesting game. A really good game at St James's Park um, on 12.30. Make sure to leave a like, boy, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot if you could do so. It does really help the channel. I'm doing good recently. I'm loving it at the minute. And we're back again on Saturday with a vlog. Last last daytime vlog it'll be as well. So it'll be a shame. The season's going to end. But we want the next season and bigger and better things are going to happen. Anyways, let's get in the video now. Let's look at Liverpool. So then Liverpool, I'm going to say this now. But when I'm recording this video, they are 24 minutes into their game versus Villarreal at Anfield. And it is 0-0. So I will not have a clue what the score will be. But it's a madness for Liverpool. An absolute madness. They've got a Champions League game now. They've got a Champions League game next Tuesday. It is massive. It's massive for them. And it's not like they're just fighting for the league, they're fighting for top four. They are one point off Man City for the title. They just need Man City to drop a point. And then if Liverpool keep winning the way they are, they'll go top of the league. Could easily do the quadruple this season. It's a very high chance that they can win the Champions League. It's a very high chance that they can win the FA Cup. They're in the final of the FA Cup. And they could easily win the Prem. Man City do have a mistake in them, so Liverpool can do that. And recently they have been look absolutely phenomenal. They, they really have. Luis Diaz, what a player. Just just the whole, like, you can literally name their start 11 and name a second squad. That is still absolutely unbelievable. Like, you look at the attack. They've got, like, what, six attackers now or five? They've got Jota Firmino, Salah Mane, Luis Diaz, Ho um, and um, Harvey Elliott. They are looking ridiculous in attack. Midfield isn't the best but Thiago was finally showing his form under, uh, at Liverpool Hendo obviously captain Fabinho's doing bits um, Naby Keita's been starting recently the centre backs Joe Matip's been unbelievable obviously Virgil van Dijk Canate Joe Gomez Trent's been unbelievable Andy Robertson obviously Alisson they, they just look really really good they look so strong in every aspect that you can't see them dropping any points and you can see literally Liverpool winning every match and it's it's mad it's mad to see them literally smashing it week in week out day in day out and doing what they are good at scoring goals defending well and that's what Jurgen Klopp's brought to Liverpool we remember the days where Liverpool were sitting 8th in the Premier League finishing 8th in the Premier League if it was the same season we finished 5th Liverpool finished 8th and um, th they wanted their club back, they've got it back. Man United are going through that phase at the minute where I'm sure Man United will get back to where Liverpool are now, but they're doing absolute bits at the minute. Look at some of the players, like, honestly, like, for me, Luis Diaz is the big one. He's looked absolutely, he's looked incredible, he really, really has. Honestly, but the, the, the thing is, with their Champions League game on Tuesday, on, on next Tuesday, um, or next Wednesday, one day next week, it'll be hard to predict how how the lineup will be for the game against Newcastle. Will they get an injury? If they get B1-0 to Villarreal, because we all know how good Villarreal are in European competitions, especially in IM, it will be a tough one for Liverpool to control that. Um, it will be a tough match for, for, for Liverpool coming to St James's Park. We've not lost a game at home in the Premier League at St James's Park. We've won our last four games in a row. We are looking absolutely incredible. Absolutely unplayable. And it's a good time to play Liverpool, I think. Four wins on the belt. A, a lot of clean sheets in them wins as well. I think it's three clean sheets out of the four games. I could be wrong with that. Um, we will. We could give Liverpool such a good match. And Liverpool should be worried. And if any Liverpool fans are watching... You should be worried for this game. It'll be an interesting one. The Champions League does play a massive effect on this match. Two players who doesn't and whatnot. It'll be an interesting one. But I'm sure Liverpool will come to St James Park and ex expect a win with where their league position is. And with the Champions League coming up and obviously going for the title. Going for the quadruple. You would expect Liverpool to come in and want to win the match. 
But I'll briefly mention the mags here. Honestly, we are looking absolutely incredible at the minute. Four wins out of the last four. That win against Norwich, we've done so terribly at Cow Road over the years. Losses, draws, 90th minute winners for Norwich and that. And we went there and absolutely smashed them 3-0. Joe Linton double. The predicted team tomorrow is a very saucy one. There is some, some changes, I could say, from our win against Norwich, but... I think we've got to play our best team, we've got to play the best players in every position to go for this win. If you don't play your best players in games like this, you don't win. And it's simple as that. We need to, we need to try and do everything, everything that we can. I will not be disappointed if we get beat. It's literally against one of the best teams in the world. Um, they're going for the quadruple this season. They're going for the Champions League, won the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and one point off the title for in the Premier League. They're looking immense, so you can't be down on the lads if we get beat, but it will be a really interesting one, it, it, it will be. I think Liverpool should be scared, they should be. You look at it like the, the way that both teams line up, we're both playing 4 3 threes at the minute. Um, it will be an interesting match. The, the, the midfielders in the midfield, honestly, our midfield at the minute, you take it over anyone's. <laughs> Bruno Gomez, what a, honestly, one of the greatest players I've ever seen grace a Newcastle shirt never mind play a week in week out and one thing I've got to say is Eddie Howe what an incredible job he's done we'll speak at we'll do a, what I normally do a big video at the end of the season but I want to briefly speak about something about, with, with Eddie Howe we all know that when we were winning games and Bruno couldn't get a game he said no let's settle him into the team if Bruno gets hired into the squad straight away would he be as good now I'm honestly saying probably not. Eddie Howe knows what he's doing with this football club. We're sitting ninth in the Premier League. 14 games in, we won, we won zero matches. And I see fans going, Saudi money, Saudi money. Fulham spent 140 million in the summer transfer window of 80-19, relegated. Dean Smith had 200 and something million at his time at Aston Villa, sacked, sitting bottom off of the table. So many teams have spent so much money over over the years. Look at look at Everton. Look at Everton. They've spent more money than Liverpool since 2016 on the blink of relegation of the Championship, and spent more money than the rivals who are about in the quadruple. It's got nothing to do with money. Fuck all would do with money. But yeah, Bruno's made a big a big impact and wouldn't have signed under Ashley. But when the new era, we can't stop ourselves. Eddie Howe's done the job, and Eddie Howe's the reason why we are sitting ninth in the Premier League. Look at some of the stuff he's done to players who were previously at the club. Joe Linton, even players like Jacob Murphy, um, Emil Kraft, Fabian Shaw, the, John, John Joe Shelby. The list goes on, and he's done such an incredible job at the club where... You've just got to praise him, and it'll be the last time we see him in daylight. Because <laughs> obviously, our next home match is against Arsenal on the 16th of May, which I will make some announcements because I've got some big plans on that day. But we'll, we'll wait on that. Anyways, it, it is a massive game. Hopefully, we can pick up the win. I am going to go. It is. I'm just getting the flashbacks of that 18 19 game at St James of Park. I'm going to unfortunately go for a 3 2 Liverpool. I can see goals in the game. I want to see goals, but hopefully we can at least pick up a point and keep this unbeaten run going and keep our brilliant season going. That is the end of the preview, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Predict a team out tomorrow. Vlog out on um, Saturday. I'll try and do a player ratings depending on what I'm doing after the game. If I'm seeing anyone, I'll, I'll, you'll have to wait and see. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, boys. Have a good one and hopefully the mags can get something on Saturday. How are the boys?